Finally, I have a video where I'll be talking to people who don't use QEMO only. In this one, I'll be talking about uh, looking glass when used under uh, Vert Manager and LibVert. So to get started, uh, let's go to looking glasses uh, quick start guide. And let's start with building the client. Okay, so first we need to uh, we need to download uh, all the required packages. So and to do that, we'll simply have to run this long uh, command and I will leave it in the video description. It lists all the packages that are required. And uh, for this video, this is under Fedora 29. So if you are running something else, you might need different packages. Okay, once installed, we can move on. We need to, we would need to obtain the source. How do we obtain the source? Well, we click on the link and uh, we can download it from here, version 12, the source code. Uh, for me, uh, when I tried to compile uh, this source code, I was getting a segmentation fault. So what I ended up doing was I ended up cloning their uh, repository and that fixed the issue. So let's do that. And to clone the repository, you run git clone and then the link. Uh, again, I will leave it in the video description. Once we have the repository cloned, what do we need to do then? Well, we simply need to run these uh, couple commands. Okay, so we'll uh, change to the looking glass folder and mkdir uh, client and build. Okay, we'll change to the build or uh, client and build. Okay, and now we need to run uh, cmake dot dot slash. And when that's uh, done, make. Okay, and now our looking glass client is ready. What to do next? Okay, we from there, we need to configure libbird. What do we need to do? We need to do two things. We need to add this into the verse uh, script. So we'll copy it and uh, we will run brush, brush, edit, and the name of your virtual machine. In my case, it's win10. And we need to go all the way down to, uh, well, it has to be, you have to paste it somewhere within the device tags. In my case, I, I put it at the end. So uh, insert, paste, and uh, Make it a little well. Don't do that nice. Okay. And now we need to save it. Just before you save it, make sure you edited the script. If you have an NVIDIA card, you need to have uh, you need to remove the everything within the hypervisor tags and replace it with this in order for you to be able to install the NVIDIA driver and also where it's. Uh, within the clock tags, I think you need to remove anything with the hypervisor in it. So that's just something to remember. Okay, now we should be able to save it. So colon WQ. Okay, verse is ready. Next, we have to create the what well, we have to we should create a script, a little script uh, that uh, uh, that creates a basically file shared between the two, between the host and the client. Okay, we copy this. And, uh, oh, just one thing to remember, the way this is written, uh, it, uh, it's written for 32 megs and that will, uh, that will uh, be useful for the 1920 by 1080 resolution. If you use a higher resolution, you might have to adjust the size right here. Just something to keep in mind. Okay, let's create the script. Copy. And I will uh, put it uh, 
in my virtualization folder. It doesn't matter where it goes. Okay, uh, so uh, bi and uh, let's call it mem.sh insert. Let's paste this wq colon wq to save it and let's make it executable chmod plus x mem sh okay and we can run it right now you might want to run it before you start your virtual machine mem dot sh uh, oh, okay one thing uh, the user you don't want it to be user uh, slash kvm but you want it to be your uh, you might want to replace the user with the actual user in this case let's make it uh, let's make it uh, root okay and let's run it okay next okay let's look at our initialization script or i mean the website and let's uh, go on to configure windows here we'll have to download a file and install it in our virtual machine so let's do that let's get our virtual machine running okay now uh, i will switch my capture card to the virtual machine graphics card Okay, here we are looking at the virtual machine and uh, we are ready to download this and I already did. And uh, so what we need to do now is we need to update uh, the driver for this uh, inter-virtual shared memory device. Okay, device manager, we need to go to system devices and uh, PCI standard RAM controller, update the driver we will uh, change to the directory what we downloaded we have to unzip uh, it and uh, because i have windows 10 we go under windows 10 64 bit install the device okay we can see it's ready next running the host we need to download this the exe file and run it i already downloaded it and i saved it under uh, i put it in my c drive so it's right here and uh, it's ready to be executed so uh what i well what not only i like to do but what's sort of necessary because you want to run it without the monitor this file needs to be uh, started pretty much upon the machine startup so uh, I like to use the scheduler. It's easy. It gets the job done. Create a basic task. Uh, let's name it LG. Uh, when I log on, we want to start a program. Program. We want uh, to. We want it to open the Looking Glass client, or host in this case. Okay. Finish. Let's edit some details. Run with highest privileges, Windows 10, triggers, that should be fine. Delay. I like to delay it for 10 seconds. Uh, it helps. Uh, sometimes I, I have issues when I don't delay it at all, so the 10 second delay you think, uh, gets uh, rid of that. Next action should be fine. Conditions. Yeah. We should be good to go. Okay, you also need uh, the this one downloaded. Mm, uh, virtual, I mean, uh, the redistributable 2017 uh, for C++, so C++ 2017 redistributable. You need that, the 64-bit, download that and install it. Okay, and I downloaded it. Let's install it.
okay, successful. Now I should be able to run the client. So run, okay, it should be in the background. Now let's run uh, the looking glass client and let's see whether we get any output. Okay, so I will switch from my virtual machine to my, to my host again. Now let's go into the looking glass client directory, uh, client and build. And we can run the looking glass client. Okay, uh, if you want to uh, change some of the options, uh, right here, it will give you a list of all the options you can change. We'll just keep it simple here. And we'll do the S all. And here is our virtual machine. Okay, I can close this. Okay, uh, let's see what happens when we restart it. It should, uh, the client, the host application should run upon restart because the scheduler should start it and we should see our virtual machine. Now that it's restarting, you can't really see uh, the restart process because the application, the host application isn't running, but as soon as the virtual machine comes up, we should uh, see the screen. Okay, and we can see that it updated. The screen is up to date now working after the restart so works great and uh, that would be all for uh, looking glass uh, vert manager and libvert see you next time